All right. It's freedom from religion. Stan Smith. Oops. Here we are in Nashville. Coming up on the uh, Scientology Celebrity Center. This one looks like it is in a really pretty building. Unlike the Celebrity Center in Las Vegas, which is ugly and in the middle of nowhere uh, i wouldn't say this is not exactly a great neighborhood just to give you an idea there's the uh there's the city so we're walking up on it i see i've got uh, I don't know if I have anybody. Oh, yep, looks like two people are watching. This isn't going to be very long because it's really cold. <laughs> and uh, I didn't, for some dumb reason, I didn't think I was going to need any gloves. Now, one thing that I did notice is right around this corner there are three vans and i'm gonna guess that they're maybe sea org vans it's hard to say um i don't know why my, for some reason my gimbal is not exactly straight so i apologize for that so i don't know is this how they're but I don't know why would they park them on the street because they've got a great big empty parking lot right here. And in fact, that yellow van, if you can see it, that's the standard van they use for the volunteer ministers. Um, to try to make sure I can Hold on. Oh, okay. Can uh, one of you just put something in the chat? Just so, let me know if you can hear me. I don't see anything yet. So hopefully my audio is okay. I see ooh, five people. Two thumbs up. Can any of you hear me? Oh, this is the question. I don't... I, I don't know how to... I don't really know how to look at the chats yet. Wait. Okay. Huh. I don't know. Okay, so, very beautiful building, of course. Rotten on the inside. There's the volunteer minister's van right there. Something can be done about it. Yeah, we're doing something about it. We're gonna shut this place down and make pack it up. I would really love to know more about the history of this building. I, I'm sorry that I didn't bother to look anything up on it. It's uh, very beautiful. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I saw your thing pop up and then I couldn't read it. So, somebody's car. Pretty sure they're not gonna want me to come in. Oh, here we go, there, okay. So, this was the Fall School, built in 1896. It's the oldest public school building remaining in Nashville. Uh, it was named after a Board of Election member, 
Uh, it served as an elementary school until 1970. In 1982, it was privately renovated for offices. Unlike the earlier study hall design, fall school, if you live close to there, I'd love to meet you. Oh, I don't. Uh, but uh, anyway, so it was a school. It's across from W.O. Mu Smith Music School. No, I travel a lot all over the world for work and so um you know i have a a really great opportunity to see a lot of places i'm i'm pretty careful because to be honest with you guys i can't be getting arrested or anything like that would be a disaster i, I don't mean because of the arrest i mean just because of the timing and everything else um, uh, and I was really upset about these arrests the other night, or yesterday, I should say, in Los Angeles, if you hadn't heard about it. Yep, there it says Scientology, Nashville. Now there's, you know, there's a... Uh, oops. I have been to Nashville for 17 straight years and I have truly never seen anyone there. Yeah, there's, <clears throat> there's some cars. Sorry about the, uh, fire truck coming this way. Um, there are some cars. They actually have handicapped parking. That's weird. Um, for them. I'm going to guess that uh, there probably aren't any big Nashville celebrities in the Nashville Celebrity Center. Beautiful magnolia tree. They have some reviews on Google. Okay. Oh, they have regular church services. You can go in and sit down. Ha! Yeah, and then you then write. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it's a beautiful magnolia tree. At one of my houses, uh, we have a 60 foot tall magnolia like that. It's one of the tallest trees in that particular state. Um, so we're always proud of that. But um, yeah. There's no duckies coming out to play. Now, oh, hey, look upstairs. I mean, the windows look gross. So it's probably a thinly veiled place of beauty. And it's not a great neighborhood. I mean, it's not bad. I don't feel like I'm in, it's dangerous or anything, but it's not beautiful um it's okay i guess it's okay now that staff member is clearly not exactly uh, able to take care of the car right they've got a mismatched door but let's not make fun of them they're open. Come on in and find out. Yeah, I'm not going to bother trying that for sure. By the way, everybody, let's see. Coming up, probably... Oop, let me see if I can read that. I live right outside of Nashville. Okay, and I missed the rest of that. Sorry. Um, i got to figure out how Aaron does that because one time I held his camera for him. Oops, there we go. Heart, thank you. That's so nice. This is great. I popped in to leave. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you. 
uh, I was running Aaron's camera or, you know, thing. And I, I need to ask him what software, if he's just using straight YouTube or if he has like a StreamYard app, because I could see all the messages on the side and it was really easy. But on, I'm just on YouTube, so I, I can't. So I don't really know how uh, that all works. Um, anyway, uh, coming up, you're going to see, hopefully, a little bit more of San Diego. And then let me think. Um, and then Denver again. And then... Let's see. Then uh, Geneva, Switzerland. Uh, and I was doing some looking at the laws in Switzerland, and it's pretty strict. Like, I could film the building, sort of, but you can't take any video or pictures of a person, period. And not like intentionally, you know what I'm saying? And you can't even video into their like windows. So they're very, very, very uh, picky and uh, they just have a different set of rules and I'm not gonna break them. I'm also going up to Germany that same time, but I don't know if there's gonna be anything in Germany to even see. So, oops, let's see if I can get my lenses. There. There's that, the van. Um, you know, so I'm not sure if where I'm going to be in Germany, there will even be anything. Okay. Those are definitely not Scientology because that has a University of Kentucky plate on the front of it. And that one has, what is that one? Oh, I get, well, yeah, Tennessee uh, Titans, Titans, yeah, Tennessee Titans. Well, let's see what this one has. Uh, Jacksonville, right, guys? Jacksonville Cougars or, what, or something, whatever they're called. Okay, weird. Definitely not Scientology. Well, this is a really short one, um, but thanks for joining me. And uh, I'll try to do more uh, in the future. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, make comments if you're coming in later. And I'm gonna, I am, I will tell you this. Uh, the motherships. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, I am working on a couple different posts and one of them is going to be all about how the best way to go to your member of Congress and Senator and even your local politicians to ask them to look into uh, the tax exempt status of Scientology. The difference that you're going to find what I'm going to bring up is it's not first to go after their tax exemption. It's really to, for them to consider the uh, 1989 Supreme Court case, Hernandez versus IRS commissioner, which makes it um, uh, technically illegal to write off any services that you buy from Scientology specifically. It's just that the IRS doesn't enforce it. And I'd like to, I, I think that's a good way to get um, any member of Congress on each side of the aisle, um, please let everyone know that, okay, I missed that. I'm so sorry. Um, but the bottom line is they shouldn't be allowing, they shouldn't be allowing them, these people to write off their their so-called donations, particularly if it's for services. And that's just the start. And then I think 
secondarily to start bringing up a lot of the abuses because I definitely think they are not, uh, they are not benefiting the community in a way that they should be uh, according to their tax exempt status. Now there is somebody outside I, I'm seeing up there, but they look like maybe they're, oh, heart, heart, thank you. That's so sweet. Um, but you know, that, that's what I'm gonna focus on. I'm gonna do it. I've already started building out like kind of a PowerPoint, if you will. And my goal is to make it something easy to use, easy to access, easy to screen capture and help people. And also I've got some experience in, in working on Capitol Hill and to discuss with people how, what's the best way to go about uh, reaching out to your members. I'm not 100% sure insisting on videoing the interaction is really a good idea. Maybe you could ask politely, but you know, so you know what we'll to see. Um, hold on for a minute. How you doing, sir? Beautiful old building. How long have uh, you guys been in it? Oh, okay. Huh. Nice. Are there living quarters or just services? Okay. Well, hey, um, have a good evening. Okay. I know I could have asked much tougher questions, but if I'm honest with you guys, I don't know. I, I gotta, I wanna also think through some of Natalie's suggestions. Uh, and if, uh, oh, what is her, what is her channel called? Jeez, uh, Natalie Webster, um, because she does have some really good insight into things to ask. Well, that guy was either a Sea Org or probably a staff member. Um, so asking him about, do what you're comfortable with, thank you. Uh, asking them about, you know, money, like that guy, you know, about constantly getting, ooh, taken for money maybe isn't a great idea. There's somebody driving in. Huh, they went whipping by too. Interesting, huh. Okay, so uh, that's kind of a couple things I have planned based, you know, on trips. And then there was another uh, thing I, I think I'm going to probably do a little bit. Um, <laughs> I think I want to go and get all the clips of uh, all the different um, times that they've, Scientologists have knocked uh, phones out of protesters hands and off their gimbals, which as you guys, if you know, if you go back and look at my videos, that happened to me. That wasn't fun. By the way, I have, I don't know what's going on with that in Washington, D.C. in terms of whether or not they're doing anything with it, but um, I'm not holding my breath. That's for sure. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Again, please like and subscribe and uh, there's Nashville downtown and uh, it's a it's actually a very beautiful city and uh, I'm not gonna tell you where I'm staying but it is a beautiful hotel I mean absolutely gorgeous so uh, I enjoy that's one of the perks of the job is I always try to stay in historic places if I can I you know, sometimes I stay at a, a simple Hampton, <laughs> but if I can do it, I'll try to stay at, you know, somewhere really interesting. And um, um, you can't see it, but my naked eye can see a gigantic guitar over there that says Nashville. Um, yeah, I do like coming here. So thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Uh, please, again, like, subscribe. Uh, and uh, leave me some comments. 
I'm still trying to figure things out, so I apologize for being a little bit of a, a newbie at this. Ooh, what does that say? Uh oh, I'm not gonna say. No, it's it's not the Omni though. Nope. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good night.